bit by mosquitoes every goddamn day. Can I touch your hair? Multiple times a day. It's fucking annoying. And makes you want to go ballistic on those mosquitoes. Which seems like a huge overreaction to people who only get bit every once in a while. It's just a mosquito bite. Who cares? Just another angry black one. What the f Hello and welcome back to another trip with me to Psychoville where Vice is the so-called premier news outlet. And front page stories are insanely racist lists of 100 things white people can do to make life less frustrating for people of color. Gee, let me think. Unreal. No wonder they filed for bankruptcy and are barely operating, which is probably why they just reposted this rage bait from way back in 2018. So here we have Casina Boom, whose lived experience and expertise includes, quote, womanhood, blackness, mixed race identity, and LGBT issues with a specialization in lesbian identity. Oh. Great. All that hard-earned expertise, yet still no self-awareness, because this article is just one big batshit crazy projection. Now, we're not going to suffer through all 100, but I will go through a few right after I tell you about this opportunity to secure your retirement and get a free coin while you're at it. Investing in precious metals may sound confusing, but the team at Noble Gold Investments make it easy. Let's hear from actual Noble Gold Investments customers. The staff answered all my questions and helped me every step of the way. Way. No pressure sales tactics, just honest guidance. Securing my future is less stressful thanks to Noble Gold's expertise. So don't settle for financial uncertainty. They'll suggest options and see if you can diversify into gold and silver. Right now, Noble Gold Investments is offering a free 5 ounce silver America the Beautiful bullion coin for qualified accounts. Don't settle for financial uncertainty. Noble Gold Investments has an A plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and countless five star reviews. So why wait? Let's get started right now. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always risk of investment and there are no guarantees of any kind. All right, as promised, the list of things white people can do to make life less frustrating for the rest of humanity, because I guess we're just so annoying. So this article starts out, as someone with very low tolerance for racist bullshit, <laughs> I've managed to surround myself with white people who are cognizant of their privilege and strive to make the world a less terrifying and frustrating place for people of color. How about new? Seriously, what happened to live and let live? Now, white people have to literally strive to make the world less terrifying for the apparent superior people of color? That seems normal. Number one, just because you can't see racism all around you doesn't mean it's not happening. Trust people of color's assessment of a situation. How about new? Right, right. Just because you can't see the boogeyman doesn't mean he's not there. Just blindly trust us because of our skin color. We are superior and know better. Don't assume that all people of color share the same views. We are not a monolith. <laughs> I know that these people don't seem to have any self-awareness about themselves or their actions, but holy crap. Yeah, don't assume that a whole group of people share the same views and thoughts. That would be so bad. Number three, don't assume or guess people's races. This is not a fun game for us. Are you serious? Now, is this something that white people and only white people do? Even if it's true, what's the big deal? A white person who would say something like that would be clumsily trying to be your friend, not terrify you. I'm starting to think that maybe the lesson here is that these people should stop trying to be your friend. Number four, if someone tells you they're from Uganda, don't say, quote, I went to Nigeria once. Just please. <laughs> That sounds like something very specific and weird that might have happened to you once and that you're now for some reason ascribing to all white people almost as if it's in our DNA. 
It seems to me that there was a word for that at one time, but they redefined it, so never mind. Strap yourselves in because these just get better and better. Number five, related. Don't refer to Africa as a country. It's a continent and it's widely varied. Yes, take a moment. Yeah, well, fuck you too, sister. I know Africa is a continent. Lots of white people probably do. Maybe some don't. There's probably lots of black people who don't know that. That one is definitely gotta be uh what because it's like idaho and all that tennessee and all that yeah all right so moving on number six Oh, and rest assured that literally no person of color ever wants you to get back from holiday, show off your tan, and excitedly exclaim, look, I'm almost as dark as you. Cease and desist. <laughs> I went to that tanning place your wife suggested. Was that place the sun? This is just a deranged list of stereotypes and things that either happened to her or she imagined and she's now attributing to all whites. Don't assume that a person of color knows everything about their country or heritage. Do you know everything there is to know about America, Germany, Sweden? That's what I thought. Whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Maybe this list is making me just as crazy as the author, but I could have sworn that she just demanded that every white person know that Africa is a continent, which isn't even the country of our heritage. <laughs> was a good one. Number eight, don't assume we can run if we're black. Do math if we're Asian. Have drinking problems if we're indigenous. <laughs> this article is literally a list of assumptions you made about white people. Oh, that was different. Again, we see this proclivity of left-wingers to not hold themselves to the same standards that they hold their opposition, which this lady clearly sees white people as. Number nine, regard us as automatons, unique individuals, not as representatives of our race. <laughs> Number 10, don't make embarrassing jokes to try and be down with the people of color. We'll laugh at you, not with you. <laughs> Number 11, don't rinse our culturally specific memes. They're ours. Go enjoy that weird one about the plums. <laughs> Look, I have no problems with any group of people, have had friends of all colors, and will continue to treat all people like I want to be treated. But damn if Scott Adams wasn't on to something. All right, that's all I have for that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you on the next one.